Hi, Danny from Death Motion here, uh, and I'm here to talk to you about your nutrition guide. So this is something that you can just print off, hang up on your fridge, uh, put post up on your fridge, and it's just a nice visual guide so you can just sort of see and make sure that everything is present on your plate. Um, so you have your proteins, your fats, um, your carbohydrates and your vitamins and minerals. So the current climate and nutrition is super, super confusing at the moment. So, so this guide is really there to basically help you um, to understand to what's actually going on your plate. No one's walking around, uh, walking around with sort of scales in the pocket. So, you know, there's always 100 grams of this, so many grams per kilogram of body weight. I mean, some people like that, but for some people this is like super, super confusing. We view with our eyes, not with our hands, not with, not with scaling stuff. Like, we don't look at a plate and go like, oh, 100 grams of protein on there or whatever it is we kind of like you know we look at we look at things with our eyes and so with a hand measuring guide this hand measuring guide where it's really simple to follow we can just make sure everything is present on your plate and then you know you have everything there that your body fundamentally needs first thing to understand is this is a guide this is not a one size fits all this is something that you can that you can use that will give you a really good idea of where to sort of like start scaling uh, to start scaling your individual plate so for example some people might need slightly more carbohydrates so for me it'd be two scooped hands so one scooped hand another scooped hand some people might need more some people might need might need less also because it's hands if you're typically bigger you're gonna have probably gonna have bigger hands if you're smaller you're probably gonna have smaller hands but ultimately again remember it is just a guide and it's your job or our job to figure out what ultimately works for you your nutrition your body your in charge of what you actually eat, actually eat. So it's really important that you get a really good grasp of that. So as the measure, we have one palm of protein, a cupped hand, uh, so a cupped hand, not like an overflowing hand, but like a cupped hand of carbohydrates, a thumb that's like this of fat, um, and then fist like of, of veggies and obviously sort of like single portions for women and then double portions for men but again remember as I've just mentioned it is fundamentally just a guide you've got to play around with your quantities and there is like a we have like a very nice system in place where you basically you get all that on your plate and then you experiment with different quantities of either proteins fats uh, veggies and things like that and see what works for you how you feel post uh, training how you feel post breakfast um, during the working week during the working day see how how alert you're feeling how tired you're feeling and you and you make adjustments to your meals appropriately and just make sure that sort of like everything that we just mentioned there carbohydrates carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals are, are, are present on your plate for, for all of the meals like across the day really, including breakfast. In my experience as a fitness professional, a lot of people make it super, 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 super confusing. And, and normally what will, what will happen is they want you to measure everything out and ultimately what they'll try and do is cancel out or completely negate uh, you know, a quite a specific sort of food group. Normally sort of like fats and carbohydrates need to be sort of like pretty big culprits at the moment. What happens with that is, is it very, becomes very, very unsustainable. And in the decade that I've been in the industry, I have yet to see the exclusionary diet actually work from a sustainable standpoint. What I found in my experience is people will do it for a while, then fall off the wagon, do it for a while, fall off the wagon, do it for a while and fall on the wagon. What this is designed to do is offer you what I call the broad strokes. Now the broad strokes is just understanding that our body needs uh, proteins, fats, um, carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals all the time. And the idea is you become super consistent at that and you create lifestyle change and it becomes effortless so your nutrition becomes effortless to consume it's not a hard thing you can see very quickly very comfortably very easily what you do and do not need uh, sorry on what you need uh, present on your plate once you have control of your broader strokes and what my what I mean by that is understanding that you have all uh, you know all those nutrients all those nu nutrients on your plate once you understand that and you're doing that most of the time, then by all means, you can start tweaking the finer details and you can start going, you can start training, sorry, you can start fueling yourself for training and you can start fueling yourself for, 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 um, for specific goals. But for right now, for the vast majority of the population, and when I say the vast majority of the population, I, I probably mean a good 98 
percent of the population, possibly even higher. The broad strokes is more than enough, more than what you need to, in order to have a really healthy, balanced nutrition diet plan. And it's important that this diet plan comes and is created for you by you because you understand you better than anyone else. So the last thing that I try and do with all my clients is encourage the idea of this, this is this is a flexible diet. This is not a sort of like you have to have this all of the time. The, the idea is flex, flexibility and sustainability. If we go down the road of denial, we start going down the road of using willpower to um, to overcome not consuming something or to achieve, achieve a goal, and that's really not what we, what, what we want to do. We want to use our willpower to change habit. If you haven't watched the habit one, then I suggest you go back and watch how to use the, uh, the, the habit tracker. Um, but ultimately what we want to do is create long-term, sustainable and manageable change over a really long, long period of time. And understand how this works for you. Once you're in that position, you're gonna be in a great place. And this hand measuring guide is a really good place to basically start, middle and end your journey. It's a really good place so you can visually see what's actually on your plate and it's a really simple thing to use. Uh, and, and it'll really help you cover those broad strokes and it'll really help you build upon that when you are ready. So this is what I do with my clients, get them towards that, keep it nice and flexible. Remember, we want sustainability. Sustainability is king. Good luck with it. If you have any questions, don't forget you can fire them, uh, just fire them over. Enjoy this guide and I will see you in the next video.